this is crazy. I feel like it's good that somebody finally fucking exposed her because it, it was going to happen anyway. It was going to happen anyway because you can't treat people like that and then think that it's going to be secretive. We're here dealing with Cleo. We both, y'all both from New York. I'm from New York. New York is just crazy, okay? What's good, too? All right, y'all, so welcome back to my channel. As I can see by the title, today I'll be talking about Ice Spice and Cleo. But before I start talking about Ice Spice, let me tell y'all about my day, bro. Like, I'm not gonna make it too long because it really wasn't crazy. It was just this part that really just fucked up the whole, not the whole day, but y'all know what I mean. Like, you know, like, when your day is going good or whatever and... It's like this one thing that if it wouldn't have happened, your day would have been just perfectly fine. So I was supposed to go to the supermarket with my dad, but I had fell asleep. So I put a timer on it. So I put my timer, I woke up and my dad was like, yeah, we're going to the supermarket. Mind you, I'm still tired. Like I'm so tired because my sleep schedule is like extremely bad right now. So I go to the supermarket with my dad, but I got the straight ass face because bro, I'm tired. We was going to buy this, um, this case of water, right? And we was gonna put it in a shopping cart, but there's like workers in a supermarket or whatever, and they have to do it. So there was this this guy that was working here. This guy, I always see this guy, he always got a stank attitude. Like I, I'm his energy is really not there for me. So, but my dad, he fuck with his energy. So, but I don't care. So, anyways, the guy, he was supposed to put the case of water in the shopping cart. And he's looking at me, like he's trying to tell me something, but he's not opening his mouth like if I'm a fucking mind reader or something like that. So he basically want me to bring the cart up, but he's not telling me to bring the shopping cart up. So then when I finally bring the shopping cart up, he has like an attitude. Like when he said it too, he was like, like bring the shopping cart up. Like if I was dumb or slow or something like that. Mind you, I was going to tell him about himself, but I didn't want no, like bro, like bro. I ain't want nothing crazy to happen, bro. Like, because on some real shit, like, I don't know how he is. He don't know how I am. But I know how I am, shit. So, like, bro. And then he just, he put the, the, the case water down. And then he sat down. Like, he didn't even say have a good day or nothing like that. And I'm like, bro, like, bro, if you don't want to work, stay your ass home. Like, and I told my dad. I told my dad. I was like, bro, what's wrong with him? And my dad was like, nah, he's cool. You're the problem. I'm the problem? I'm the problem. Like, bro, what the hell? So... I thank God that I was still sleepy. That's why I really didn't tell him about himself. Because me, I tell people about themselves. You feel me? Like, I tell them about themselves. So, I'm just glad, bro. I'm just glad that I really wasn't in a mood to go back and forth with somebody, bro. Because word to everything, I would have dead told him about himself. I would have been like, bro, if you don't want to work, stay your ass home. Like, I hate when people... Like, bro, how you going to get a job and then you don't want to work? Like, you don't want to have customer service. Like, bro, what's up with you? Like, you don't know me and I don't know you. Like, all I know from you is that you're an employee here. And all you know from me is that I'm a... What's it called? A client, a customer, or whatever you want to call it for the supermarket. Like, bro, what? Like, I'm telling you, like, I really hate people like that. How you gonna buy, bro, I'm telling you, that shit really pissed me off. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a ultimate crash out. Y'all think these other YouTubers, bro, I'm a ultimate crash the fuck out. So, the only reason why I didn't do it is because I was still sleepy, bro. I was literally gonna have to wake up immediately right there if I was gonna crash out or whatever. So, that's why I didn't do that. But, yeah, y'all, that was basically my day, like... Bro, like, I don't understand. Like, I really hate people like that. Like, bro, like, I don't know you, bro. Like, what's up with you? Like, yeah, he has to be miserable. He has to be one of those miserable-ass people. But anyway. <laughs> Thank you for listening to my rant. <laughs> but let's get into the drama. Anyways, as y'all can see by the title, today, I'm going to be talking about Ice Spice and Cleo Trapper. While I'm talking about these, I'm going to eat my food because... A bitch is hungry okay if nobody has ever put you on don't ever say nobody ever put you on. don't ever say i never put you on to nothing this bev right here bro no promo no promo no sponsors no nothing bro me and you you feel me this bev right here is called rika is the orange juice they make different types of beverages rika this company they make different types of beverages don't go and get apple because apple is ass I'm not gonna lie to you. Apple juice, their apple juice is really not good. I'm sorry, Rika. I'm sorry. I'm keeping it a pain right now. I'm keeping it a pain. Orange, I feel like orange is the best one that they made. And this shit is so good, bro. It's so good. I wouldn't recommend to be drinking a lot of these because it has, I, I'm pretty sure it has a lot of sugar. This shit is sweet. But, oh, damn. 31 grams. Hold the fuck up, bitch. Hold on. <laughs> But anyways, I'm sorry, bro. I'm, I'm just getting off track. Let's talk about Cleo and Ice Spice, okay? So I'm scrolling down my TikTok, right? 
I'm scrolling down my TikTok and I follow Cleo because I'm from New York in case y'all don't know. You feel me? I'm from New York and I've been following Cleo. Like I've been seeing Cleo's content, influencer music and all of that since 2019. So that was like five years ago or whatever. And I follow Cleo. So I'm scrolling down on TikTok and I see that she's like about to rant. But to me, Cleo was known to like talk her shit or talk whatever she like, you know, comes to her mind or whatever. But this time she looks sad. So I'm like, bro, like, what's up? Like, let me watch this video. And then I don't know if y'all know, but TikTok is messy. <laughs> One thing about TikTok, <laughs> like the TikTok algorithm is messy. Oh my God. So in the bottom, I don't know if y'all be on TikTok. I'm pretty sure y'all do. But in the bottom of like videos where like people be talking shit or whatever, like it'll be telling you basically what they're talking about. And it said Cleo Trapper and Ice Spice friendship. And then I basically had an idea of what she was gonna talk about because she started talking about like friends or whatever and all of that. And then basically she started talking about the friendship of her and Ice Spice because I knew before, like especially when it was like on Kai. I don't know if y'all saw, but she was on Kai with um Ice on. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw, but she was like on Kai Sinet's, um stream or whatever with um, Ice Spice. So Ice Spice and her basically are friends or whatever. So I wanted to hear what was going on because I didn't see pictures of them in a minute too. So girl, she starts going at it, okay? She said everything that needed to be said and she made a six part series at that. Like when I tell you that I was in tune, like I was on TikTok, I'm scrolling down, like I said, and I watched the video, it says part one. So I'm like, damn, bitch, how many parts are there? Because you know, ever since Risa Tisa, Lisa Kisa came out with those whatever how many part series, everybody's been doing it now. So once you see part one, just know it's about to be mad parts. Like, and I, I was here for it because I wanted to know and everybody was here for it. You feel me? It was like, it was like three o'clock in the morning or, or two o'clock in the morning when I'm seeing these parts like being dropped. Like I'm 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 front row seat. We seeing the whole thing. Like, so she basically came out and she exposed the shit out of Ice Spice. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. These part series are like too long. It's like 47 minutes long. I'm not gonna. Like, hey, I never knew that you could have that many. Like, I didn't know that you could have that many minutes off of TikTok. You feel me? But when all the videos are combined together, it's 47 minutes. If you guys have not seen it, y'all wanna see it in full without you know scrolling up on TikTok and all of that. I posted the last video I posted is like 47 minutes long and it's all of the parts It's one two three four five and no six is not six parts is not there it's only five because six he dropped it way after Ice Spice responded shit is ridiculous okay so I'm listening to all of this stuff and I'm catching my conclusion you feel me I'm getting my conclusion and if y'all want to be messy with me because I be messy on TikTok too you feel me like once these Things be coming out, I be talking my shit. But the thing that I wanted to say out of all of this, because there were some parts that really caught my attention, you feel me? And the way that I am, I would have left. And I said that on my TikTok too, like, I would have been gone, okay? I would have left, bitch. Because I don't I don't care who you are. And this is a problem with people. Like, there's people that they like to take over or they like to take advantage of, you know, their position and who they are or where they stand to the point where they want to mistreat other people. And bitch, I would never give no human being, no human being the power to mistreat me because of the position that you're in. Don't ever do that. Because I promise you, if there was two bullets coming our way, we would both be dead. We would both be in a casket and we would both be six feet under. Like, so what's the, what's the point? What's the point? So basically, that is, I don't know, like, my whole thing, my whole opinion on everything that had went on is like, I feel like, bro, like, it was, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was expecting that from Ice Spice. Like, I really was expecting that from Ice Spice because she looks like, bro, y'all haven't seen the little things that have came out when she was talking about um, um Nicki Minaj. She was calling Nicki Minaj ungrateful. Like, bitch, she picked you up. Nicki Minaj has been in this shit for years. You just came out and she picked you up. And you want to call her ungrateful? No, bitch, you're ungrateful. So she gives one of those. And I don't know, but she gives like, I don't know, but I think I heard like before, like when she was in school or whatever, like people used to like not like her or whatever, or like bully her or some shit like that. I think that's fucking why. I think that's why. Because 
like why like what was the point of doing all of that i like it I especially and there's people that they would literally show you what position they're in and which position you're not in like bro and i feel like this was the same thing that happened with cleo and stuff because the fact that you invited cleo you know allegedly right because this is what cleo was saying and the fact that you invited cleo um and you told her not to bring anybody but then you did you did things that would require her to like basically need somebody and you weren't there to help her like i feel like that is so messed up and i'm not gonna lie to y'all i spice did respond i spice did respond and yeah shit is ridiculous overall i feel so bad for cleo because like bro i feel so bad for her because it's like damn you really think you have a friend and i feel like it's different it's it's not different i feel like it's the same with any relationship whether it's a boyfriend girlfriend you know friend and all of that because it's like you give your trust to this person and you trust this person and everything and then they just out of nowhere they show you a picture that you have never seen before and you're like bro you're literally confused and i feel like that's the same thing that happened with cleo and i feel so bad for her and i'm gonna do a whole nother video with um ice's response that and i feel like the response was so ass the response was so ass but anyways y'all please make sure to subscribe to my channel i know this video might be long i'm not gonna lie to y'all i think it might be long um but it doesn't matter please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys like drama and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video i'm gonna do a whole nother video listening to ice's you know response or whatever and yeah we're gonna keep talking shit because this is this is crazy this is crazy i feel like it's good that somebody finally fucking exposed her because it, it was gonna happen anyway it was gonna happen anyway because you can't treat people like that and then think that it's gonna be secretive we're here dealing with cleo we both y'all both from new york i'm from new york new york is just crazy okay so yeah y'all i'm gonna catch you in the next video